Beachside vacay. I just have to imagine there's some kind of beach episode, <laughs> mini game event. Maybe you can get us some costumes. Several months have passed since the Battle of Jormungandr. Things have begun to settle down across the continent. Duna's father, Matthew, contacted Class 7 and friends to let them know that Michelin was back to operating at full capacity. Not only that, but they were invited to hold another reception party on the premises to celebrate a job well done for a very uh, catastrophe. And so, once again, they found themselves back at the resort where they previously had their send-off party. Everyone's so ripped. <laughs> Wow, the sand is even wider than I remember. The beach was dreamlike on the evening we were here at last, but it's even more beautiful to behold during the daytime. I'm not surprised. I've heard the sand here was imported from a beach in the central east referred to as White Haven. It's no wonder this place has such a reputation given the lengths they went to. Come to think of it, I think this is my first time wearing a bathing suit since we were all student at Thor's. Same here. I hope I haven't forgotten how to swim given how long it's been. Did they never get a beach episode? I think maybe the most they got was the hot springs in that one village. I think we could all excuse the rust with how busy our, uh, your work schedules are. As for me, it's been a long time since I last swam outside of a pool. I'll have to warm up even more thoroughly before hopping in. Could you just listen to you dorks? This is supposed to be a vacation. Cut loose, live a little. How can you not mention the girls' swimsuits? Who knows when we'll get a chance like this again? Maybe never. Yeah, that might be a little more entertaining than going on some lame-ass kiddie rides. This guy gets it. Stop trying to corrupt the students, crow! Man. What's with the, <laughs> the unzipped pants, Laura? Sorry for the wait. I must admit that I'm not used to wearing swimsuits of this ilk. It took some time to fit into it. I mean, it looks like you didn't fit into part of it. You're not the only one who had trouble. Everyone was a pain in the butt to tie together. Thanks again for lending a hand, Emma. Of course, it was so nostalgic helping you straighten out your ribbon again. Starting to feel a little out of place around it by you young lionesses. What did that pesky maid have to skip out on me now, of all times? Check out the view, it's even better than the water. Never take life for granted again. I'm so blessed I was given this chance. Oh, I just realized Crow also has a weird scar on his chest now. What do you think you're being a little over dramatic? Hey guys, sorry we took so long. I don't think we ever got a. Uh... Damn, I don't think we ever saw it. Even the cat? <laughs> How I waited for the day we could gallivant across one of the continent's finest resorts again, instructor. This is supposed to be a group vacation, but I agree with the sentiment of enjoying everything the beach has to offer. I didn't even have a real body the last time we were here, so now I get to enjoy this place for real. That's, uh, right. That was the thing. Yeah, she, goes, she just got Celine here. And, uh, oh no, I forgot her name. The Night Girl. I've heard so much about Lakeside Beach since it opened, but it's even more splendid than I imagined. The weather is so pristine and calm today as well, we shouldn't have any trouble relaxing. Are you just gonna lurk around in the background all day being nervous or what? We came here to have fun. I'm not exactly in my element here either, but if I can suck it up, so can you. Duvail, yeah. I'm not nervous. I just the thought of playing on the beach in a swimsuit is a big ask for someone like me. No, yeah, well, your lord's dead, so it doesn't matter. Why do... Why is it that when characters die in this series, it has to be the cool ones? At least ever since that one villain that died at the beginning. I know some of you have busy schedules, so I wanted to thank you all for coming. It's not easy getting together like this. We also owe a big thanks to Juna's father, Matthew. It's because of him we have a, the beach all to ourselves. I feel like this is going to be just like the Asher version of this event. Or you just get to play minigames for a while with random people. Oh, he sent Mishi. Mishi and his clones. The three of us at your 
The three of us are at your service to give you the best mission on vacation ever. You should feel honored. You're all receiving the royal treatment. You send all the mishies. They're now breaking characters. Uh, MWO ticket. Okay. So, you go on attractions. These tickets will give you access to the three special attractions we put together for your special day today. Interesting that they have this as a side event. Usually, like, pick a character, boosts their affection points, and then go to the next one. I guess you can replay this as many times as you want, though. Or maybe the characters are... fixed to each attraction? I don't even know if there is an affection, uh, like, social link thing in this version of the game. Aside from the one that just gives you boosts in battle. I'm sure I saw Matthew roaming around earlier. You should take this chance to go say hi and thank him. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. He sure was interested in how Juna and her friends are doing at the academy, the academy but that's apparent for you. Alright, back to the beach. Okay, so you can take in attractions by speaking with the various Mishis. Each attraction costs one ticket to access. The characters you can invite vary at each attraction. Choose to spend your tickets wisely. Why wisely? Yeah, you can do it whenever, so... <laughs> oh, additional tickets can be found as you explore the reverie Oh... Interesting. So you can get more tickets by doing the... the reverie corridor. Weird. I guess we just talk to people. Planning a game, no, we're taking a break and having a drink. I wonder if they're gonna move around as the story. Uh, as you do attractions, as time goes. Hello, what are you two doing? Irene, just taking a break after a little swimming. You no, know, you really do look beautiful in your bathing suit. <laughs> Working so many long hours and my snagging habits haven't been the best. Even Sharon has been worried about me. I was nervous about this trip. Uh, I was so nervous about this trip that I started a strict diet. Ah, uh, man. I need to eat less and do and work out more. It's like the last time I met my family, the first thing that my mother says, like, Holy shit, you got so fat. I'm like, come on, it's not that bad. Is it? I'm pretty sure I'm still under what's considered overweight <laughs> for my body mass index. Oh. What? There's the arm? <laughs> okay, so this is just dating sim land, huh? Let's go talk to the others. I hope they give me the swimsuits once I finish this little side story. Hello. Some nice breeze here. What are you, get, uh, what are you girls up to? You know what's just telling me all about treasure hunting. This beach has these things called white stones that are super popular. That's been secretly dropping more of them around for visitors to find. Oh. So they're here on purpose. Hey, Till, let's go look for some. That was a thing that we did in Asher. There's a little minigame where you had to find white stones for uh, Kia and Sully. Hmm. That might be a thing you can do again. <laughs> if I recall, in the previous 
uh, the previous time we did this, there was a white stone under uh, one of the chairs. The one that Ellie was sitting on. Give her a fright. Hi, Reen. Want to relax with us? This is the perfect spot for chilling out. But it'd be even better if someone hooked us up with some booze. I hope you don't, mind, uh, you don't mean me. I appreciate the invite, but I'll have to decline for now. What's with the orbital camera at all? I wrote it from Monk. I thought I'd take some photos of everyone having fun and put together an album later. You wouldn't look so happy today. I gotta show Angie later. Ain't no fair. At least let someone sneak some photos of you too in there. Tell you what. Go mingle with the others and I'll take a few snapshots. He's right. Something tells me Angelica would be disappointed if you weren't in the album. I guess so. Okay. No... no white stone, though. Hey guys, splitting open some watermelons? Elliot and Gaius are way into it. I haven't really gotten to play on the beach much in my life until now. Busting open a watermelon is one of those things I never thought I'd get to do. It's kind of exciting. I don't think I've ever seen that happen in a beach, but it kind of feels like a very Japanese thing. It, it don't, I've only ever seen it in anime. It's not just the watermelon. The banana boat over there is a fascinating bit of culture as well. Or the banana boat I've seen everywhere. <laughs> I look forward to all the fun stories I'll be able to take back to my family. So all the girls and the boys separated into little groups. Here to take a dip, instructor. I was just seeing how everyone's doing. Are we all playing in the water? Lucy knows all sorts of fun and game uh, of fun games. We were just writing in the sand, among other things. You write your name and the name of the person you desire into the sand. You're destined to be together if the waves don't wash them away. Oh, I, I know what what all of you have been writing. It's uh, an old good luck charm of sorts. We we're just trying a bunch of combinations out. Hearing you describe it, it sounds more or less like a game and like something that's real. It sounds less like a game and more like something that's real. Any guesses on whose names we wrote down, Instructor? We can't play while you're here. It's weird that these two are here. <laughs> I initially thought the idea of a banana boat was bizarre. So now that I'm actually riding one, they're quite fascinating. Would you like to go for another ride with me? Wait, are you okay? That reminds me, I heard somewhere that cats are in front of water. I can't believe what I've done. Banana. Oh, okay, she likes it. Banana. Trying to ride with Rose was a real pain, but Duvail invited me, so I gave it another try. Completely different experience. Who was Rose again? Now I think I understand why you all like riding those orbital bikes so much. You got me worried there. So we give it another go then. Well, that made for a great time. There's no shortage of fun to have on the beach, is there? The sand also makes for excellent footwork training. Sure it does. The bathing suits also keep things light and easy to move in. I guess here we go. Here, here we got some more uh, training junkies. Listen up. Now that we've accepted this match, I expect us to win. Okay. I've been doing nothing but desk work as of late, so I'm not exactly in the best shape of my life. Now I'm starting to doubt whether we can win. Please, you've got your own negligence to blame for that belly fat, Regnus. Not your work. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at this fucking pecs. Do you think writing a problem doesn't keep me in front of a desk every day, yet I still find time to keep my blade sharp? I hate that you're right. Sure, look at all that belly fat. I kind of want to bring Celine around. If she if she likes the banana uh, boat so much. Are you just trying not to fall? And collect flags. If you fall, you'll lose points instead. Uh, sure, let's try it out. Oh, I wonder if there's a difference between the beginner and normal. <laughs> 
I guess I see how much you say about this one, man. <laughs> Just catch the flags. There's another minigame that... Did I even do it on stream? This little magical girl thing that was basically a shoot... Uh, little on-rails shoot em up. It was kind of this, but... That's interesting. Oh! Celine's costumes, attachment items can be equipped when she's uh, part of the party. Do I need to pay again? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess if we want the, sw uh, the swimsuits, we gotta. We gotta pick the character in a minigame. Doesn't look like everyone. Uh, anyone changed locations, though. Let's try this one. Uh, let's bring in Elisa. Some pretty fancy cocktails. I love the flower decor. This is the real dating sim hours. I totally get it. I've really had any time to unwind up till now. Oh, so this is why they said play in VR, huh? <laughs> You're still in the middle of reorganizing the Rhinefur group, huh? And rough. I doubt I could manage half as well without Sharon uh, to help me. He always knows what I need right when I need it, even if I need a simple pick-me-up. He's there with a cup of tea in hand before I even have to ask. You don't think she's spying on us from the bushes, waiting for the chest to swoop in and save us, do you? I think we're in the clear. I heard she couldn't quite line up her schedule with ours and had to take a rain check. Or we even think about work right now. We're on vacation. We should be vacationing. Intimate moments. Answer yes or no questions to navigate the conversation. Okay. If they like what they hear, you can get even closer. Use LNR to control where to look. Perhaps the conversation will take a different turn depending on where you decide to look. Does that mean that if you just stare? <laughs> this is real dating some hours. No. What is the truth? I'm scared to I'm scared to like stare. <笑>思えばあなたとはいろいろなハプニングもあったものだけど、今更私と過ごすくらいでドキドキしたりはしないでしょ。Yes, of course, sure. Whatever you say. それはそれで寂しい気もするけど。what? I wasn't listening. <laughs> I was just staring at places. I was just <laughs> Uh, yes. Just say yes for everything. I'm actually drinking in this game. Maybe. 
I did pick her as the the love interest. I wonder if she has different dialogue. Consider these flowers a humble gift from me to you. Be sure to give them to your special squeeze so that your love may blossom as beautifully as this bunch. Me, he, he. Your special squeeze. あの、<笑> This is so fucking weird. I thought it was weird, but you are Does anything happen if I just look away? I guess I can just end it now, right? Oh, she just keeps saying the same thing. <laughs> My god. Booba. Not, not again? Okay, we just exhausted the dialogue. Intimate moment over. えっと、こういうのって恥ずかしいわね。その、どうかしら似合っている。そっか。ありがとうね。Why <laughs> would he just tell someone like, no, you look like shit? <sighs> okay. Well, it's gonna be awkward to actually go do that for every character in camera, so... <laughs> Veg out? What's that mean? Helps when you're with the right person, right? That's how I feel as well. Think you'd be up for hanging out again like this soon? You're heading off now. See you next time, Reen. Lisa, pretty flower. Oh, do I not get the... I didn't get the costume. Two for the price of one. Take two swings at breaking open the watermelon for a single ticket. You can even invite a partner. Oh, I should be doing the robot voice. I'm not gonna bother. So this that watermelon splitting game. Maybe I should invite over one of the other guys. Only the guys? Okay. Uh, Kurt? Oh, that's supposed to be the direction. Only good? They're like screaming to the left, to the left. There's, is there only three? The three minigames? That's kind of sad. Uh, who should I go with next? 
least. I guess if, if this just gives you the swimming suits, I kind of want to, I kind of want to get Loras. Uh, course B, I guess beginner. Can I go back and do them all? And at some point do them all like in normal? Real dating sim hours. You wiggle. The wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I gotta say the. Uh, attractions, the ticket attraction thingy in the previous games was more interesting. <laughs> For the most part. Because you actually got into conversations with characters. And they went into like their backgrounds or stuff that was going on in their lives and stuff like that. It was just now go play a mini game. I still don't know what those pants are for. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I guess this does just give you the swimsuits for the characters. Does anything change if I go back now? Nope. So just keep doing it. So who next? I think Sarah's swimsuit looks really good. Might as well get it. Uh, beginner, normal, beginner. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna end up being something that I just do off stream. For the other ones after I'm done with uh, the first version of the event. Ah, come on. <laughs> I was perfecting all of them. Oh god, I'm gonna fall off. This kind of makes me scared for the, the normal version. <laughs> I'm just falling off the beginner uh, minigame. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Rank C, man, now I feel bad. Also, we're still getting the minigame anyway. Did anything change? No. Let's really just go, start going down the list. So what does normal look like anyway? Yeah, I guess speaking of something else, because there's nothing really to say about this, uh, there have been some interesting fighting game news coming up uh, today. Oh, I just watched that one. Uh, first of all, uh, there are more news for Granblue vs. Rising, aside from the beta. There's probably something that we're going to be seeing later today, once it's time to do that. Uh, they actually commented on some change to the mechanics of the game. Uh, so, in the previous game, uh, Granblue vs. was kind of interesting in that you had two versions of uh, how you could perform a motion or a move. You could do an easy input, where you just press a direction and press like the easy input button. And you just get the move with slightly less, dam less damage and a cooldown before you can use it again. 
Or you can do the motion to do it for uh, full damage. And uh, no cooldown. Or reduce cooldown at the very least. Functionally, it, it ended up being like there was no cooldown. So they just, for the new the new one, Bramble vs. Rising, they just decided to make it so that the EC inputs perform the same as the technical inputs. It seems to be the same uh, power, the same cooldown, and now I just need to see if it makes it so that you can't use... Uh, sorry, I need, to see, I need to see if they, they made it so that you can just do EC inputs for every version of the move. They usually have like a light, medium, and heavy version. But if they're the same thing, it's like really wonder it. Like you just gotta really wonder why even bother still including the technical moves. They supposed to even put down a, an option in the settings to just take them out entirely. I'm like, why? Why did he even bother? Also, speaking of other interesting things about new games coming out, we got some news for Project L. It's been a minute since we've even seen it. Pat, pat. Oh, she has a straw hat? That's cute. Oh, so yeah, new song Project L. Uh, I guess a lot of people were uh, asked to play it. They got, they got the chance to do it, and they've been releasing footage and talking about it for a bit. Uh, so one of the funny things that I've seen is that people keep are saying that uh, okay, the, there's a new mode where it's like you can just play the game with a partner. It's like a, a 2v2 kind of mode because the game's already one where you can uh, have two, like you, you, it's already a tag fighter, you play with two characters. So you can play with two characters. Some people are already they're already busting out the jokes, like, oh, now you can finally play a fighting game where you can blame the other person if you lose. Like, everyone at the same time just broke out the same joke. They've been waiting for it for so long. I blame Sajin for it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I guess now that we're out of the minigame hell, I don't know my, uh, about you guys, but I think I've had enough fun for one day. It's starting to get dark now. Are you all ready to head, uh, to head inside? I know I am. I'm totally pooped and could really go for a bite to eat. Let's hurry and get changed so we can have dinner at that fancy restaurant. I'm starving. I hear Fortuna has a really good, uh, great seasonal buffet lined up for us. That should be fun. They really did pull out all the stuffs today. It was truly impressive. Yes, I thought so too. They even arranged for Mishi and his friends to keep us company. That couldn't have been easy. Even I'm a fully converted fan of, uh, of his now. How could I not be after such an outstanding treatment? I was just looking at Duvale, like, for some reason she's got, like, this wide pose. I think it's because she's supposed to be wearing armor usually, so the model is set up for that. Let me tag along with you, Johannes. I'll buy you some to send back to Ymir. Do you mind if I escorted you as well? I'm curious to see if they've released anything new since I last checked. I think we can officially call today a success. Everyone seems to have had a great time. It was so nice of Matthew to get through so much trouble just for us. We'll have to thank him again before we leave. It's not over yet, people. There's still plenty of other stuff to do here, and I'm not gonna let it go to waste. Much as I hate to leave the beach, I say we hurry on out so we can enjoy the rest of what this place has to offer. Or are we gonna get another set of seven tickets? Never mind. Thank the first time bonus item, Manly Munchies Hot Dog.
Okay, that looks like the end of that. 